welcome to a commentary of the World Tour Finals. It's going to be interesting. We're going to talk about May Flaming Hobos, Miss Minute Deck, and Kojujin's Kojin, Kogujin's Kogujin's uh, Countess Bullseye Train Deck. Um, I think I'm going to go through some decks before we're going to actually go through the gameplay. So first of all, we have this super cool Kota combo deck, um, which relies on actually abusing phase shift together with library access combined with battle fleet and key abduction. So the whole point of here is building up the hand, hand managing it so that you can pull out pretty much AOTK. Usually Flame Hobo will get one key and then you only need two keys to be able to pull out the combo. This is there fully on uh, to disrupt, restrain contest, control the weaks and Ember Imp with an Arise. Um, and then I really like the Annihilation Ritual, it's super cool because it actually thinens deck uh, to get all the so-called crap cards. Um, so you can actually more efficiently pull out uh, the combo. And then the library of the dam is actually super important here. And you can see that also in the finals how, how it actually is an important factor for Flim Hobo to pull out the combo. The combo is play library access, you can play some wild or wormholes, phase shift, you keep drawing cards and then you with phase shift you go into battle fleet, have a huge uh, Mars hand in your hand, draw even more cards and then you can actually cycle through. So. That's a, a cool, cool deck. Um, you can beat it with super fast bursty deck, but then again, we didn't have that. We had a other type of a controlly deck there, which is called the Count's Bullseye. That had, it's a VC deck, so it's super fun to see that we had actually a VC deck, um, a WZ deck um, in there, which has Hysteria, one Infernus, three Exhumes, four Information Exchange. This is actually huge because the steal, like think about it. If one person, st if, if your opponent steals one and you have two, let's say two of these, you steal four. Like the punishment is huge. So, and then the Igors here to get with the Exhume is like a glue. So you can actually get your um, combo pieces here for Sorian. I mean, tribute into exile is always brutal. Uh, you play Grim Luxus that has already two uh, tribute for, into like four captured and one with exile. So what is it? Five plus two, seven amber on it. You ex exile it to the other side and then regrettable meteorite. Oh, mama mia, that's that's crazy. Or oh, hysteria. Like there's ways of getting those embers back. Super cool deck, and I love Sportosaurus. One of the best, best dino de uh, cards that exist. Um, with the after a friendly creature is destroyed, destroy each non-dinosaur creature. Like it's a big body, has after fight to gain two. Like win rate to 55, you can see it's huge. Like that's, that's important. So, super cool deck here. Surprised that he managed somehow pull out to the finals, but at the end, maybe not. Lovely to see that. Okay, so those are the decks. However, Miss Minity doesn't um, rely on stealing, and I, I think that brings down the power level of Contest, and I think Miss Minity in this case is actually favoring this matchup because Countess is trying to pull out this tribute combo, taking your embers, but I mean, it's like, I don't need my amber. I can just, I can just play control and build up into my combo. And that's most likely what we're going to see also in the finals. Right. <clears throat> Mathematically, you're seeing it right now in front of you. Is it the best card? It's, there, it's certainly a, a card that's always had utility, right? Yeah. The the ability you always to... Don't, you don't want that to sit on your opponent's board, right? Yeah. Because it, especially at decks that want to recur stuff. Yeah, they're it's, talking it's about Eater of the that. Dead. Yeah, it's Inferno's father. Kind of eat up. Oh, I gosh, I can't believe. Eater of the Dead can be a good one. Eater of the Dead can be a good one. Eater of the Dead can 
Eater for today can be a good one here because it can eat up those key cards like Igors that are super important for contests. Shut up. No, no, no. I instead of play? Instead of play. Instead Maybe of play. that's more balanced. I think that's more balanced, right? Like a powerful yeah. effect like that. It's probably way more Eater balanced. dead could be a play ability, right? Yeah. So, all right. I gotta, I gotta rein it in. Gotta get the, got back down to the golf voice level. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're turning it down. All right. And we're getting ready to call the match for you guys. No more joking around. This is a serious time. I really like that uh, the um, Jovi that he has uh, uh, several signatures on that playmat. That's that's really cool. <laughs> it in matches yesterday. Yeah. And it, actually, it was in the deck that won the game. So. So you're tracking the way it force keys, I go like that. Uh, somebody got mad at the first time. There's a slightly northeast to southwest wind <laughs> on the fairway. By the way, here in the finals, you can see super nice play, like the 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 way how they play. And I like the finals, how there's no time in finals, so you can actually take your time. And they talk out what they do, and that's super good. So that's a good one to practice when you play in real life with people. You gotta use six of your ambers. Like, I mean, I have my tendencies to uh, play fast. I just put out cards and in that there's two things. First of all, you're not like classy towards your opponent. And, that, and the second thing is you can actually make mistakes, like super big sequencing mistakes when you're too fast. Like brain goes faster than actually your hands. And, and I've, done, I've done that many times in real life, even in on TCO online. So super important that take your time, play out the cards and you say what you do. A really good thing to practice while you're playing, even casual. Like that's good for the opponent, good for yourself. Slaps away, or no, you pull him across the table and punch him. Yeah, <laughs> you <laughs> slip your hair back. All right, but wherever in finals, that there's agreement. Both we're not shaking hands. Some mulligans here, so they throw away their starting hand, shuffle the deck, and um, Ooh, draws again. Annihilation ritual start. Okay. So he starts with rit uh, ritual so of annihilation, or annihilation yeah. ritual, which actually here's the thing, Jovi doesn't even recognize it and you're gonna see it soon because the thing is he just plays Iger he's gonna run it into the opponent's creature and he's like whoa my guy is not in discard because he wants to have Igor's in discard pile but any annihilation ritual denies totally because all creatures that are destroyed are purged instead huge huge thing here actually in the first game all right Igor starting out all right, so, so you're exposed the Igor here. If you're, if you're really worried about it, right? Igor is such a good card, man. You play, you draw three, that? pick one, this got two. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Interesting. Right. Of haps there. Interesting first turn. That he just plays Iger. I wonder what it, what was the hand. I would like to see the starting hand here. Nothing to remote access. Okay. Yeah. We can see. Start there. Devin is I'm just, just uh, Devin is just building up here. Um, the hand. Playing out logo stuff. Doesn't really like matter in that sense. Maybe big, building up a bigger Mars hand or even this hand for a bigger disruption turn. Or if that, so he might not have actually been planning for that then. I don't think he... That I might be a lesson learned for game two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's thinking he's trying to set up... The here he's twin game. bolting... So, so, I think that was a... Un... Yeah, this is guys what happened here. So Jovi plays fast second turn where he has twin bolt and plays down the holographic um, artifact. Uh, action water creature and um he twin bolts and that's when he realizes 
oh wow the Iger goes not into this uh, discord pile it goes uh, perched and that's actually a huge 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 mistake there going to probably cost the first game because it's yeah and the thing here is that then the second turn david he, he just plays control of week and goes into logos and they he doesn't have many logos most likely many logos cards because he's played three times in a row logos so we can then know no two times in a row logos and then you might understand that the, the chance that he has logos again in his hand is quite low so that's a smart play from flim hobo it's gonna be a blank turn yeah he could ward the kia maybe so that's probably the undercard key information ex exchange and that's it still spawn i think he was trying to set up in zoom yeah i think so hmm. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Squawker. Squawker. Oh, he has a huge <laughs> yeah, Mars hand, hand there. Yeah. He was uh, probably hoping to just destroy the one battle fleet just to uh, big, big filter through the deck. Fishing for a battle fleet, probably. Exactly, fishing for the battle fleet. I was thinking about that too. So now he's, he's just probably as fast as possible trying to get into those combo pieces i mean that's that's how we should play all right now sorry this is huge it's actually pretty good to get around the uh, dominator right you can you can attack people off the board hmm. okay i actually think that's hard to so the two big creatures I need to even check those names. Okay, sucks, fights cleanly into the dominator, right? And it just yeah, goes take away. them out. You're also worried about like tribute now, right? Tribute exile yeah. could be real so, bad. Except tribute exile that is could be real bad plan, here. I think, yeah, you're just sitting. You got a time bomb sitting on the opponent side. But I still think Miss Minute is just hanging there, like. There's no big pressure here. Only three embers. Well, what? It turned four, five now. Takes out the wards. Q barely scratches this grim lock of ducks. <laughs> we have any fun reap effects that can be replicated? Maybe. As you can see here, Flame Hobo is keeping this taunt empty. So he can play Restring Guntus or Ember and bring to this side. Super smart. So the opponent played out. Jovi played out Grim Grimlockus yeah, Ducks is not five and not the Terror. What is it called? Uh, he's got some other stuff. Maybe terror Dactyl. But he's not at check yet. So yeah, the handcrafting is different. Yeah. I think Miss Minute is really having a good time here, still, at least for now in this situation. But he really would hope to get the Library of Damned. In the tank. Just looking at his discard pile. I think he, I think he really misplayed with the... Yeah, now in the CTR, guys are saying that a, he would have made the mistake there, play. playing the Iger pinging it and then purging it because he has now exhumes but he doesn't have anything that he really would like to exhume oh binding irons is good actually here a against a combo deck that is wants to build up a hand that's actually good for clogging so getting like early binding irons can be so huge yeah, is interesting right yeah. because um Haps is He's going to six All right, so now he goes into six at least so is checking here was, uh, which is that was very signal which is actually kind of good here putting the pressure on flame hobo hobo we know that he already played what five mars cards so of 12 there's only seven left two are battle fleets 
the game if he wants to go back in the... You need to maybe. hear what Flaming Hobo is doing. Devin is doing. He's checking through how many... Like how many of certain house is left. How many cards of the certain house left. And now he also discards... Pings and discards one because he wants to see... Before he probably plays Resting Gunters. What house? Okay, it's Dino. Now he has the math in his head and he says... Probably then... The best card in the matchup, either they didn't. Okay, using it for control the week. This, okay. It says this. Chains are big. How many of these Coda and Mass Mutation decks? I think he also chains, probably right? chose this here like card, so that he can maybe have a good chance yeah. to. Oh no, Infernus here. This is, a, a this is important. This is important. Uh, he here. played key, key abduction. Da no. No. No, 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 no. No. Jovi. That's huge. Here's the thing. If you ever play against combo decks and you have an Infernus. Like, I like, I love, I have my, one of my favorite decks is Last Mother. I really dislike Infernus because... I need to either clo clog my hand with my combo pieces so that they can't be eaten by Infernus or hopefully get them archived. And here, Devin played Key Abduction. It's in the discard pile. That's huge. You should have here, Jovi should have eaten with Infernus. Yeah, one control of the week and then the Key Abductions because that would have really, really crippled the um, minute is uh, possibility to to actually OTK like that's probably the biggest 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 fail uh, we'll see if how, how that actually affects the game but I think that's a huge misplay so when so important when you check out the op opponent's deck list you try to figure out, okay, what does this deck do? Is this a combo deck? Is this a control deck? Is this a burst deck? What's its goal? So if, the more you play, the easier it is for you to read the opponent's deck list and see what it wants to do. And that's actually a huge misplay there. Oh, wow. And I think now... I think now if Devin just wants to let that inference stick there on the board and just let it be as much as possible so he doesn't eat any more cards because he still has a possibility to run into something and exhume again and then hopefully take the key abduction but here you should have taken a key abduction straight away control the weeks are out of the matchup now that's big that's, that's the turn okay okay uh but we've got a uh, uh control the key abduction but now we've got exposed in furnace to the annihilation ritual oh yeah here's the thing uh, Annihilation Anneal Ritual is also so good combo here because you can only play the Inference once. So Jovi has Poltergeist, so he wants to get Poltergeist so he can destroy that uh, artifact before he gives the Inference. And I think then Devin is like, okay, I want to get rid of this Inference straight away. Oh, yeah, that, that is still to come, yeah. Yep. Yeah, even the chat this year. Did he not purge KA? So... Key abduction. Key abduction. Mm, that's oops. Exactly. Even chat Perhaps is reacting here. Furnace is hiding behind ducks. I mean, control the weak. I think is ultimately what he needs to get rid of. He might have time to get back to the. Yeah, that might be a lesson for game two, right? But I don't know. Yeah, it might be a lesson if he loses to it. This right? is a lesson. Exactly. Lesson two. I am agreeing. Oh. Saves it versus the uh, Annihilation Ritual. No. So you can actually get it back into your archives. That's cool. Uh, I, love yeah. this. I love this play. So that can load up Battle Fleet. So he played this um, Martian um, upgrade that uh, you can put it on a creature, and then when it's killed, it goes into the archive. So in that way, he avoids the Annihilation Ritual because he still wants to have a lot of Martian cards. Uh, in his deck to be make the to make the battlefield bigger. So this is a really cool play where he just puts um, puts the big guy. I'm mean, trying to see the names. So he's he's playing the biometric backup 
on uh, on the Uxlix Dominator and gets that into archive. Smart play. Grim lost. It's a play that uh, that Devin probably doesn't get to make that often. Yeah, like, you're, you're you're actually like sending your. There's not many creatures that think can fight against the die. Soft landing down coming down. John Smith with the tank. The reaps activates tank. Okay, he decides to run into the ducks or what it's called, the big guy. The ducks, uh. Exactly, ducks. Ducks took out a lot of creatures, despite <laughs> existing. So he wanted to attack the ducks so he can also come he into Inferno. Like because the thing Stop. is, that he has Hysteria. <laughs> Jovi has Hysteria, so he, he uh, can still yeah. pair stuff. He had like slow disses. It's, it's very unlikely that it's this, right? He probably has no discards left, unless he drew one last turn. You have to, the first game is super interesting here. It's not the ducks. straight of obvious. He hasn't ducks. played no wild world holes, no not library like, access, but, like, and no battle uh, fleet. So yeah, all those. You know. We could draw a. Drawing cards. I'm still in the deck there. Devin is. He has nine, he said? Yeah, he's got nine. Okay. He's got, we got orange, amber on an it's orange arc. Arc. Yeah, orange, amber, orange ID card is so rough. I think that's. If I would have played against Devin, I would have asked him to actually put those tokens in somewhere else. Like yeah, I actually loved, I loved archiving the, uh, the Dominator there. As, as, yeah, as the chat is saying here, I hate the translucent Emperor and Arkham card with the same general color. I agreed. You have to be over 18 to play now with Fry's. So Jovi is thinking question. here. I don't think so. There's, there were definitely kids wanting to Yeah, there were kids here. playing. There were kids yeah. playing. In the main, in the main tournament. The, I think that so the difference between it's not gambling, right? Yeah, the the difference between a card game and say like table games at Vegas or whatever is that uh, there's a skill component to the game. Yeah. And so same kind of thing. All right, felling strike. Uh, you can play poker out in the wild as long as the house isn't taking a cut, right? The house taking a cut is what. That at least applies to the USA. I don't know how it will be. Yeah. In Europe. I don't know how. To play, I know. I think you're good to play in Dallas. You can ask GG, but we, we'd like, I think there were people under 18 playing in the main tournament. Yeah, 17 is probably So totally pink's fine. two yeah, guys away. So. With the link strike. Tribute. Plays tribute here. Tribute take him off the key. Oh, this is smart by Jovi that he doesn't actually... Uh, Untap it, yeah. He keeps so the stun. That's really down. nice. Here's a stunned pterodactyl. Yeah. Stunned pterodactyl. Ticking time bomb on the table. Huge amount of amber there. Five amber on it. I mean, this is now it's looking good currently, but we still Devin hasn't played his combo stuff. Oh, lovely. Place Axiom here. And with the amber, he was actually saving the. Inferno, so really smart play here by Jovi, must say. Keep some important cards down on the board. But at the same time, Devin doesn't... Like, he's fine that his deck is thinned. <laughs> so cool, and he Liation Ritual deck, like seriously, with combo. Oh man. Miss Minity. I don't think the pterodactyl is worded, right? What's that? I don't think the pterodactyl is worded. Is Chat is even asking me, why didn't he exalt the pterodactyl with phalanx? And that's just because worded, he wanted to keep uh, wormhole, the infernus wormhole, there. Wormhole. Okay, library double wormholes here. With library the wormhole, yeah, so. Without cool. library accesses. Oh man, he's been really waiting for the library access. That's kind of rough. He plays phase shift here. He needs to get into 
Okay, I'm brave. Just to yeah, the creatures that dodge the axiom purge. Make it a bit slower. <laughs> That's rough. The binding irons. Like here yeah, in this position, I really think that key abduction first. can really so that it doesn't get purged. That miss power. can really pay. Uh, pay him the victory. <laughs> A cost of victory, that's how we say. Devin was checking there. As you could see, he's reading his 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 he counted his deck and it feels like he doesn't have live reactions still in sand. And he just pulled out a huge logos turn with big cards like that would be good for live access. I think like this was probably most likely the worst way how Miss Minity could uh, play out. So we'll see if he's able to pull out a win here. Oh, it's so sad he didn't have hysteria. Like, Jovi should have had hysteria. That would be so important. He would bounced Terra Ductal, gotten a lot of Amber, most likely forged the second key, uh, purged some important cards from the discard pile man such a close one such a close one all right both players have a key the hysteria are in time finals which is great i think yeah he's means he's happy now he just forced one key and jovi is not still for forcing the, the the second key here if, it, if it's if it's untimed, now he gets rid of the infernus and that's big you don't even have to consider time That's you big. Consider slow play, anything like that. Yeah. He didn't get Pulse so Guard, neither Pulse Guard there, or right. Hysteria oh, yeah, so over here. Big part of his game plan. Yeah. That was, that was rough. It is great until hard deck makes finals, yeah. So at the same time, when Devin didn't pull out the best way, it's now like he drew his library access. Uh, Joey hadn't, didn't have luck to to draw we those key cards in this moment, so. This weekend, it's so. probably evening out, and I think in that case, Devin has the yeah, edge here. Yeah, is big, so that means uh, Jovi's. He has like, a bunch of uh, logos and I mean, right. Mars cards in his discard by Devin. It's a very viable game. Yeah. yeah. I think he uses the the exhumes and the Igors and stuff to sort of just filter the deck. But his, his main event is the Sarian. Let's see what Jovi does does here. Now the poltergeist. And here I would say I would have taken library down. Here I would have taken library down here. I, I really think that would have been the right call here. Because library down like anything to archives a combo combo deck is so important. I, like seriously, I I think that, that would have been the way. You get to capture one as well. And then I'm gonna play Misery Exploit just to gain one damage up. Or one damage up. Let's go to six Misery Exploit, yeah. No, it goes to, yeah, it goes to six. Okay, that's good. He's in check. That's important. You really need to keep the tempo up here before it, it's going to explode. He doesn't have the best possible hand here now. When you know they're playing a combo deck. I think he's gonna... I think he's gonna go... Yeah, yeah, now it's counting here. He he has Restring Guntus. Most likely Arise in his hand. He's gonna the Library the Dawn, put a, a Mars finals. card into Archives. The first game I'm 100% sure it's gonna be this. Yep. Flame Wraith on Mother. Yeah, keep it there alive as long as possible. To have seven cards in hand. Arises. This. Jarrett, most likely. Yeah. Stops here. This is tempo play here. So such an important play here. Oh, man. These got shoulders with the steel. And. Oh, such a well played here now. I think. I think this. It was so important he couldn't get killed. Ah, oh, man. 
the big dino there with all the amber gives an a, a huge one extra turn that huge one extra turn is so big for combo deck creeping ever closer to a big yeah big turn oh man really so at this point uh we have not seen phase shift right yeah we have not seen the battle we have sh we have seen phase shift still there he's on he's got no um so i think i think Devin's next turn is a pop off right yeah you discard the shooter there because uh joby's deck has four information exchanges yeah and so if he plays the shooter there then he gets absolutely punished it's, it's, it's the odds of him getting punished are extremely high. So now I think I think Jovi, if Jovi can kill the pterodactyl, you've got like a Sarian line, right? Where the Goddess Raptor fights the. Oh, you play it. Play it when he has three. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think he. I think Flaming Hobo was discarding the Schuler. Just to not have it in play. Final strike here to kill, probably. It's so sad he has only three creatures. That's the, that's the sad spot here. He can't get rid of stuff. There is hysteria, yeah. And, and that was kind of like the, maybe one of the downsides of that deck that he has only, what was it, 11 or 13 creatures. Yeah, so there's Final hysteria, Strike, so there's like a reason Final to strike it, right? um, value is so small. So Legatus Raptor can fight like Charette. Okay, I think the into sure. Or the, the, the dactyl. And then attacking the dino guy. So sure, he's putting here now the pressure on. That was huge. This I said this one turn is big here. The one extra turn that Devin got in, in to itself. Reap. Okay, reaps. Regrettable Meteor. Uh, six or higher, right? six Interesting. Or higher. Uh, it takes out the mother too. So, yeah. 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 The Flame Wreath. That's one of those that maybe you, make, you don't make that decision in the next game, right? Yeah, yeah. So the, the mother was actually had uh, seven power here, so the, the Meteor hits even yeah. mother. Fascinating. So, yeah, look, I was wrapping uh, uh, 11? Yep. No, 13. Yeah. I mean, he, had he can still play just one. Turn just by hand managing. I think he's gonna if he if he drew a lot of de like he has risky contest and he has something else there probably he could probably play this here just to get one more turn to pull out. He needs to go yolo here. But he won't be able to handle that amber anymore. I don't think I don't think there was a Wodak in the top four. Mm, yeah. There was a Wodak in top four of Alliance. Yeah, Devin wants to see the discard pile. Yeah. So you, have to, right? this, you need to, like, when you have control the weak and resting Gunters, it's so important to look through opponent's discard pile and count the cards so you can make the right call, make the right control the weak or make the right resting so, Gunters, because this is Devin's all about tempo. The Annihilation Ritual has uh, really cleaned up the deck for Devon, right? Here is, by the way, important. You are not allowed to rearrange the disco pile, so you need to just count it as that, as it is. I believe he has the library access at this point, right? And there's the purges. He asks us a purchase what kind of cards are purged so he can count Devin through the. His whole deck. So he's going to go this here, Devin's most deck likely. Is currently empty. Yes. Yeah, this. Logos. Interesting. There's the, there's the chance. Arcus card. Okay, so he's, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. And now he draws to draw, draw two cards, draw six. So he could, he could like phase shift key abduction. So he, so it's, it's just because this kind of quote combo deck, you can't do anything against it. Like you have no way. You, you can only have. Luck with discarding something. E tends jar, yes, you can stop but that. Uh, but it's like super Maybe, specific uh, cards then can he, can hinder it. So you you can and when you know the, in this matchup, there's literally nothing he, he, the opponent can do. He can just 
do the hand management and he already forged one key he's happy with that so he doesn't need to go full otk so now it's, it doesn't matter what po opponent does now in this turn he just he can just do whatever and hobo is going to go flaming hobo is going to david is going to play out his combo And here's the, he's purged a lot of his creature, a lot of these creatures. Seven has four. Five. Oh, he goes Charette. Okay. Even Thanks. one more turn. Like, this is so important. Like, oh my goodness, that resting gun to play. It stopped him. I wonder if Joey should have reaped. Every card matters in this situation. Should have reaped, maybe. I think that. Seriously, Jovi should have probably reaped, and this is so hard in that case to understand. Yeah, he should have probably reaped instead of uh, doing anything else. So he goes over the ch uh, chariot like value of three. So he could act, he really like puts the pressure and says, "Now you need to pull out the combo." Because now, what did he do? He played one card and archered one, so he it's total of two more cards and that's important ah so small details i w i think jovi could have pulled out uh, actually in his first game when the combo cards were so at the bottom of the deck like all the battle fleets and a library seriously oh such so oh so sad but then again david played correctly right there with the resting gunters he was like thinking there's a lot of logos in his hand making it so his combos as consistent as it can possibly be this is this is keyforge is uh it's a very big swing okay game, and, right? and now it's so the combo time building up to this here it is takes the archives library access okay library bubble draw he's got a death grip on his information exchanges place positron bolt draw that's why I like not seeing hands Wild, wild wormhole. Place key abduction. <laughs> A draw card okay. effect happens so before. That That's so cool. Bad. I guess if he can cycle back to it, it he might be okay. Oh, it was good. He was able to pull out the key here. So it does forge. Okay. Okay, so it gets the key. Okay. So if he can get back to it, I don't know. So he has to. He has I to mean, I as a combo player, this is now probably done deal here. That's very interesting. It really depends if he gets a phase shift. It would be really interesting to know if he has a phase shift in his hand, or did he draw it? Because now he's he's like literally playing statistics and hopeful hoping for stuff. Mother. Queen Bolt. Yeah, phase shift battle fleet can draw into it. Yeah. He's got to get the phase shift back, though. He's got to phase shift into the abduction, though. Phase shift, that's it. That's that's game. So you can draw back Battlefield. Phase shift all your Mars cards. Draw something crazy. 12 Mars cards. Two, four, five, six, seven. So seven. eight cards in total. The cards are in deck. One, two, three, four. Draw three. So if he can get to, he's gonna hit battle fleet, phase shift. Reduction. He's gonna hit phase shift. He definitely has to hit phase shift, right? But the thing is, his discard piles are mostly logo stuff, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Pretty the chances here are so right, high. He has already a second battle fleet in his hand. Basically drawing, it's yeah. like either you hit two world wormholes uh, or a phase shift, like three cards. Yeah, if you purge, can't the chance is there. so high here. And here, as Chad is saying, the, 
key abduction. Oh, Joey would have won this game if he would have purchased the key abduction. <laughs> Eat that, Batram. And that's that. This shows why Library of the Damned is so important. He was able to archive in total two or three cards, and that's probably the win here. Oh, so close, Jovi. Oh man. He, yeah, that's good. That's the first game there. A win. By the way, just a reminder: if you like what I've done here. Please like and share and subscribe and write some comments below if you disagree of some of my comments or uh, thoughts that I have put out. It would be much appreciated. So thank you for that. See you again. All right. I'm going to jump in straight away to the second game here. All right. So the first turns here. He opened up with the lo logos, placed the memory chip, then Miss Minity, Devin placed Age of the Dead and Library of the Damned. Great question. I have no idea. This is bad for Joey. Like, he needs to get he needs to get the polar guys so fast. So he really needs to as they were discussing here, where should I put my archives? That's one good place to put is on the ID card, the archive, or beneath it. So it's in front of you, so you don't forget to look at it. Because that's a huge thing. Usually people forget their to <laughs> forget their own archive in real life. And that's that's something to think about. Ooh, the Igors are coming and doing the work, you know. It's, uh, but you really need to get your pawn guys too. So important. He's flooding. A bunch of, uh, sure. Discarded a bunch of dinosaurs, right? Yeah. So he's he's digging to the, like the dinosaur stuff that you. Yes. It's after the he, fight. It can, it can after the resolution of the fight, the creature is in the discard pile. Yeah. yeah, so they were asking, they're talking about here, either the dead attacks Igor, is the Igor a, val uh, like a valid uh, creature to, to target with the, uh, each of the dead's uh, effect? And it's fight, colon, do something. And that means that the creature, the fight effect has been resolved so then if the creatures died after a fight it goes into the discard pile and then you can do the effect so it's it's a valid target so and that's probably what he wants to do attack an Igor and purge it because those Igors are so important for um, Jovi's deck I think that's probably a play here right I will fight. Eat an Igor. You can't eat an Igor fast damage. enough. Plus one power. I'll bring his library at the dam. Yeah, Jovi is definitely incentivized to do uh, Yeah. Oh, uh, man. There's no, there's no amber, like no amber burst going on in here. He can just yeah, Peter, Peter keep, keep playing, yeah. keep playing this, archiving one thing, playing one card, like seriously. That's so sure efficient and record important. Record. And here, Library of the Dam is so good because you can choose your card that you want to archive. So you can archive, for example, your key abduction or battlefields. So you're not even afraid of... It doesn't matter if you put some other Martian creatures there who don't have a, or cards that don't have amber pips and then they will be eaten up just to make battlefield less better. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Reaping that bad boy. An interesting play there. Okay, he could archive and then destroy that. This again. Resting Guntus. Yeah. He saw, he saw a lot of dinos were discarded and logos had been played. He's he's getting tempo here. So every single like turn, even though it doesn't like generate anything like resource wise, it's generating archive. He needs to go, Logos. 
Hand is full of this, filled with this, probably. Right. Only attack, that's There's it. Outside chance you can lock a game out with the rest of the right? But we're probably talking. Oh, about nice mother coming here. The decks, yeah. right? like it, Bat drone, remote access doesn't do us anything. Four cards draw. Oh my! Biting irons. I think it's now too late. You should have been coming earlier. I think this biting irons is far too late. Yeah, they're saying the same thing. Far too late. Uh, Jovi is currently stationed at Camp Lejeune. Uh, oh well, it's looking bad here. There's no amber burst. Nothing going on here, and Miss Minity doesn't need to do any. So. So you're, to Jovi's Saurian combo, Exalt, whatever, it's like, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I just want to archive my stuff, play my control here. I'm happy. Probably going to run... And here we could see that the Igor Purge was huge, exactly would be so important to be able to, for example, draw the poltergeist. So, again, like this one important card, poltergeist, I really believe the poltergeist would have been such an important card here. His archive of 33 cards, that's a lot, that's a lot. For combo deck, so that you can archive those key pieces there, oh man, you're, you're so happy. Like, it makes the comboing so much easier. So much easier. I wonder what Joe is going to do here. Like the first game looked so much better. It's cool with the memory chip. He's probably archived the dinos there, dino combo stuff. But okay, Poltergeist comes comes here, but it might be too late. It should have be like first turn answer. I think it would be that important. I can see there's a lot of um, Martian cards in his deck. Yeah, he's gonna probably play Battlefield just to go through more of the deck. It could be that he's also. No, we'll see. Yeah, that's a good target. Oof. Rough. Infernus. Now there's nothing really important. I don't even think he's taken a Mars turn this game. He's not. No. Yeah, resting Grunt, this is fine. But there's no, like, those key cards, like Phase Shift or Wild Wormhole. Library... Uh, Damned would have not been a thing. Discarded library and something. Oh, it's so sad. We couldn't see any hysterias. I could hysteria can have been also for. Yeah, double battle fleet here. It's gonna go just basic battle fleet stuff. Maybe even forge a key here. Maybe not, doesn't matter. Second one is coming. I would be really interested to see what he had in his library. Probably, maybe... Archives might be either Logos. Logos, yeah, exactly, in his archive. He's counting, so key abduction is coming here. And now he's going to count those cards, how many cards he has there. Thirteen. You need to have fifteen. Yes. 
I think you do look set, maybe. I wonder what's going to happen here with the oh, inference there. Really clean, actually. Uh, most people here have played pretty clean. Oh, so no. Now I know what's going to happen. The zookeeper coming. John Smith coming ready. You play zookeeper. You read it, and then you archive yeah, okay. Infernus, and that's it. That's probably game there. Infernus is going to the archive. Oh, man. Squawker. <laughs> and then you archive Iger. You don't give no, no utility, no chat, no nothing. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Yep, Those four stars. <laughs> stars, so I conditional. Ever played that card. <laughs> it's ever played in any rep. He probably, you might, there might be a window where you play it against uh, Woe. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like if they put a bunch of tokens on the table and you play Phosphor Stars, it's done them all. So. But not Mars tokens. Yeah. Funny enough. Oh, wow. Well. Mars tokens. Joey doesn't have any key. And Damon has already a key. Feels not likely. No, he's picking up his archives. What have we got? I have a bunch of these. Huge this turn coming. He get played by World Wormhole. Okay, now comes the combo here, but Devin's like, whatever. I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh man, combo decks. Uh, Warding the haps there. Dux should be uh, exhausted, but Dux is it's exhausted. Not it, anyway, so. He has to say sorry if he wants to use it, so I don't think it it's like will affect the game. With the Imperia. Oh, now the <laughs> Dux is. Um, <laughs> you remember, Lucas Dux is giving a taunt to Imp. Yeah. Control the week into Dino. Storing again. Man, Control the week is so brutal. Oh, oh I so wish. That. I mean, it's cool. This is a cool deck, but I really wish that we can see. I was so wishing that this WC deck would have been. <laughs> the VZ deck would have been able to win this finals. But it was a super hard matchup for him. Because he's the whole stealing and his whole capturing exile com doesn't matter. It's all about his this should do the control against this means to take the, uh, take, the con take the key cards away. So there was a chance, but now alliance is still going. Yeah, yeah, it looks like alliance is still Oof. going. I don't know how much of alliance is left, but uh, J Power was up one to zero last time we checked. Get straight off the board. I think this Haps is about to get put in the brig. Ready. Now he has like this huge board. Just tries to win, just basic. I love the. Uh, this biometrics backup. It's on the bathroom nice. for the uh, library access. Yeah, I think, I think he doesn't even need to really call all of us the rest of the game. He's just going to try to win without having to do it. He just does it if he has to. Right? Yeah. So it's like. If, if at any point it looks like Jovi has somehow crawled back in the game, the library access turn is finished. So. Wonder what he's going to play, David, next turn. I don't know what to do anymore with the Jovi. Jovi's like empty board, three amber. Only amber. Amber stopping his playing cards. This looks rough. But I love the way how they handle this. So so polite, so classy. And this is something that I really like in our community. In Keyforge, people are so polite. Oh my goodness. Like, props to Jovi playing out. Hysteria. Woo! Now comes Hysteria. That's like... 
<laughs> a lot of cards in his hand. So he's probably gonna go here. Library access. He's building up already for I don't that. Even know if he has any creatures left. <laughs> like Legatus Raptor? Is nothing. Plus you exhume for empty discard pile. Oh man. Oh, that's so sad. I, I missed the uh, original six round Swiss. Cut. Bunch of ambers yeah. there. It was clean. You were, it was you were five million, you're in the next day. Yeah, it, it, it made sense. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Yeah, I did. I was like, put it into and it was That's total of like rounds. two, three, four turns for Devin to build up or do whatever. Oh wow! So you were also playing for uh, amber shards too. Oh, you yeah, had like, one free so yeah, Need to stick in, so they don't have that. So like your win, your wins mattered more. Uh, like if you went four and two, you got more amber shards, and that mattered for the. Uh, um, Okay, Logos is coming now here, see, so we're gonna see library access. Probably gonna pull through one key here. No, no what? No he doesn't have library access, and then he oh, hates the library access. That's oh, hilarious. Oh my goodness. Oh, here's the timing rule. Let's see here. Let's listen here how to how it's ruled. He put he dis even in this game he didn't have his library access. Wow, that's amazing. Well done. Let's see here. Let's listen. Hit the library. Oh, oh I did it. I draw a card oh, incredible. <laughs> yeah. Wow, he's just able to draw a card. So when the wild wormhole hits library access the wild wormhole in itself will draw a card because of library access effect how it stacks that works that's also so important the way how, how many cards there were so he's able to actually get wild wormhole into the discard pile, so he have two of those, and when he re resupples. Yeah, if you get if you wild wormhole, get back wild wormhole into a control loop, yeah, or uh, face shift into it. Yeah, I think there's a lot of things in here. There's a lot. Th there's it's very unlikely that the game is not finished here. Positron Bolt, Twin Bolt. Even the Logos is nice with all the ping damages. He just, he's, he's gonna draw, yeah, place all the Logos and then he plays the phase shift. Just to maximize. All right. And there's the wormhole. Wild, wild wormhole. <laughs> the second wormhole. <laughs> and then key abduction that wins the game. That's wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. <laughs> and for my next trick. <laughs> That's a cool one. Wow. Congratulations, Flaming Hobo, Devin, Miss Minity. That's that's a, it's such a cool Kota deck, I must say. It's impressive and really cool. I wonder how if Devin is going to come back with uh, in different world tour with Miss Minity. It's going to be an interesting one to see. Well played, Jovi. What a finals. We had the first game that was actually manageable. I think Jovi could have won that game. Like there were a couple misplays there that he should have chosen the key abduction purge straight away. I think that would have won him the game. So that so it's not it, it wasn't impossible. 
It was probably hard, but it was it was possible. The second one, oh my, I don't understand what happened here. Wow, that was brutal straight away. No keys for Jovi in this one. Well, that was a cool. Finally, see a Arkham Wall Tour Keyforge finals. That's we've been waiting for this, and it's it's such a pleasure to see that we had not same sets there. We had wo one Wowie in top eight. We have several mass mutations in the uh, top eight that we have uh, two Kotas and and a, a WC deck there. So there was a lot of mixture of them. I wonder if there was any. AOAs. Let's see. Here are the decks that are in the top eight. So we have a mass mutation, Kota, Kota, mass mutation, mass mutation, uh, VZ, two VZs. No, no mass mutation. So as we can see, mass mutation is hot. However, they didn't pull the win, which is fascinating. Which is super fascinating. Wow. But no AOA. I'm surprised. Probably AOA is the one that you, you can see. I don't know. Like AOA has a lot of Genka decks. So super interesting that you see no Genka decks there. If you know, uh, was there any Genka decks? You can write in the comment below. Uh, show some lists if you know uh, that was existing. It would be super cool for me to see. Because I'm actually surprised that there was no Genkas there. But we have this key abduction double battle fleet stuff going on there with library access oh wow well done all of all of the players super soaked i'm excited to wait and see the next world tour uh, world tour and see how that goes um yeah that was all for this time so happy that we're tagged alone and maybe we'll see you again the next time see ya